Hello guys, welcome to another episode of The Property Hard Truth SG. SG. My name is Nizam. I'm Niza. Uh, we are from Propnex and we are uh, we are known as Niza Niza SG lah. So basically, it's been a while lah uh, since we actually record a podcast or a video podcast for that matter in English. Yes. Yeah, I mean uh, to those people who are who's been staff of this kind of hard truth uh, yeah. our, our apologies uh, but Yeah. You know, today we're going to discuss about something that is uh, quite viral eh, this morning yeah. time. If you have noticed or you have read or you have seen the video of this guy who is 42 years old and has just gotten the keys to his BTO. Yep, yeah. after 15 years of marriage, eh? uh, finally he got his yeah. first HDB uh, with his family. Yeah. At 42 years old, mm-hmm. he, he owns... And he documented his, yeah. his uh, journey, journey, so-called, mm-hmm. on a live, FB Live for, mm-hmm. I think, one hour plus, which I think, uh, I think, congratulations, uh, that is his resilience, his, his uh, you determination know, determination to is, get a house. I tell you, is we salute. Mm-hmm. Uh. But then again, as property professionals, I think there are things that you can, you need to know. You, we need to to decipher or we need to... You know, understand why uh, you cannot get the BTO. Okay. As the uh, name implies, mm, eh, mm. our our podcast here is Property Hard Truth, uh, which mm. we will not sugarcoat anything. And uh, this is for the benefit yeah. of those. If you can take it, good. If not, please stop watching. Yeah, and good <laughs> for the uh, the guy that actually share a lot of things. Like he understood why he couldn't get the BTO. So from there, he determined to accumulate his CPI because first of all he actually agreed and acknowledged the fact that his when he got married he has no savings no mm-hmm. cash savings his job has no CPF contribution at all mm-hmm. so i assume the same for the uh, the spouse lah for the wife eh okay so and then uh, as he, he got married on t- uh, in 2008 at 27 years old and eventually at the end of the journey he have four kids or four daughters okay and the eldest is actually in sec 2 Okay. okay, the youngest is seven years old. So it seems that uh, the four daughters and the wife has been staying in the rental flat for 10 years. Okay, so what motivates him to actually get a house? Because his wife is pestering him to, hey, come on, come on, you know, we have four girls here living in a rental flat. Mm-hmm. Okay, we cannot yep. forever stay like this. We need to go and get a house yeah. of our own. So that they can grow uh, more, what do you call it? In a better environment. Yeah, better environment for the kids because uh, anyway, the the daughter has been uh, growing up already, right? Teenagers yeah. already. So, what he said that if the wife have not pestered him, it will not be easy for him, lah. So he actually, due to the determination of the wife pestering him day in day out, yeah. he make an attempt to actually apply for BTO. Uh, in fact, many times, ah, huh? first in uh, Punggol 2012, and then try again in Punggol also 2015. But throughout the process, I think he learned that. He need to accumulate his CPF contribution Correct. uh, correctly and systematically, yes. lah. Yep. Yeah. So if you look at that, uh, he said that his pay is not so uh, high, about one thousand plus. At that point of time. At that point of time, yeah. yeah. So, but through his conversation, we also understand that uh, he got an EHG of 60 k. So if you got an enhanced housing grant of 60 k, that means your income bracket, household income, is about three thousand to three thousand five. Okay. So eventually, I think maybe with the spouse working together, both of them have achieved a certain income. Yeah, I think very important in Singapore's context of uh, dual income. Yeah. So whether in which income bracket you yeah. are. Yeah. So if right, you are yeah. low income, make sure you have dual income. And CPF right. contribution. Yes. Yeah, I so think very important. Yeah, and that he understand and he acknowledge that because everybody been advising him, go and find work with CPF contribution. Go and find work with CPF contribution because he's a delivery, uh, rider. I think. Yeah. Mm. If I I. Understand correctly. So he's been doing delivery, and therefore some of these uh, job do not give CPF contribution. So I finally, think I think I think it's based on uh, I think a per job. Depend on who employs you lah. Yeah. So eventually he managed to get something that uh, allows him to accumulate his CPF. Mm-hmm. So over 10 years, that means he's been getting a job that over 10 years have accumulated, you know, at least about 60 to 70 k of CPF in the OA. And with the EHG, and he gotten a, a housing loan of hundred and thirty thousand. Okay, and allows him to pay the monthly uh, comfortably. And of course, uh, the house, of course, that he gotten was the lowest price uh, four room flat that he can get on the second floor in Sengkang at two hundred and sixty thousand. So today, if you looking for a four room 
below 300 I, i'm not so sure if there is i don't right? think Because, so yeah i don't I think, think so so yeah. he understood that he was lucky to have that last unit at the lowest price for him i think he made his luck in a way that he was resilient mm. he's determined so the stars aligned yeah. and then uh, he gotten the unit that uh, started his uh, home ownership journey lah yeah after so, 15 years yeah eh? what we can learn from this is that do you really need to wait 10 years or more or more to get yeah. your bto yeah so i'm sure nobody out there wants to to, to wait so long lah to qualify for a bto right. so you must understand how the system works Okay, first of all, if you want to get your first house, the I mean, of course, the lowest price house will be BTO lah. Unless you want to buy resale and different matter. Yeah. But here we're talking about BTO. Then make sure that you have an income that have CPF contribution because it allows you to accumulate your uh, what call resources for the down payment of the house. Correct. Okay, but of course, number one, you need to first got a job with the right pay and the right con- CPF contribution. And then you do your HFE assessment. Yeah, so it must be a stable job, lah. I yeah. think that must be consistent. I know it's not easy for some of you, mm. but this is something that if you want to have that kind of, uh, like what uh, our friend has been doing, uh, in a shorter period of time, you need to be very disciplined. Yeah. yeah. So you need to be disciplined. First, getting the right job, right, and then after that, you need to do your HFE assessment. Sorry, and staying at a job. Yeah, yeah, remain <laughs> at a job. Don't just keep job hopping. Okay? Yeah, it's not going to help you. Yeah. yeah, you need to be uh, determined and also committed, lah, committed to the employment. <laughs> and think well. of the bigger picture. Yeah, uh, do not uh, job hopping without having okay, a business. Because we are talking mm. about property at truth, mm-hmm. I think most of the people that not most lah, some of the people we meet through our our uh, course of work is it's too emotional. They're not happy with the boss and yeah. all that, whatever. Yeah. The hours are no good. Yeah. Resign. Yeah. And then after that, you know, there's there's a gap in your your whatever employment. Uh, yeah. Then again, affect your HFE and all that, Correct. of course. Correct. Because there's always a gap, like where one month no salary and then the next yeah. month you have salary. So it's not very good in the eyes of uh, anyone who's going to give you a, a loan. Uh. Correct. Mm-hmm. No stability. So the, uh, the, the thing is you must have stability in your contribution Consistent. Okay, and consistent in your income contribution as well as coming into the CPF as well as your earnings lah. Yeah, and then uh, so uh, you know not everybody is as lucky as him to get a four room flat at two sixty. You know for sure you can't get a four room today, at this price today. Yeah, uh, in the to BTO that being launched, I'm sure even in I'm Tengah. Sure. So I, I don't yeah. know. But uh, unless you're above fifty five, buying the two room flexi, then different story. Yeah, but and but and you do not want to achieve. Uh, having a first uh, asset or first BTO at 42. Okay, hold that thought. Uh, hold that thought because I just crossed my mind. Mm-hmm. Uh, of course, nowadays a lot of the younger people would like to work on their own. Mm-hmm. So how do you manage those kind of things? Freelancing, mm-hmm. then do your own self CPF contribution. Yes. Yeah, be disciplined because yes, you might be earning quite a fair bit from your freelance work or your whatever that you are doing your gig uh, gig job, but If you don't save in uh, the bank, which is difficult, mm-hmm. then you need to actually do uh, voluntary contribution, uh, yes. and consistent voluntary yeah. contribution to yeah. your CPF. Because number one is that they have records in the CPF that you have contributed consistently, yeah. which is good in the eyes of HDB when they want to give you the loan, right? And of course, when and you put it in the CPF, you cannot take it back. Yeah. But if you put it in the bank. First of all, of course, the bank interest rate is not so and good, lah. And la, of but course, yeah, proper documentation of your payslip. Yeah. Your salary ins and outs yeah. very important, guys. Yeah, and also whether you are strong enough to hold that accumulation of cash in your bank without touching it. Yeah. How difficult, many? Uh, yeah, difficult. it's quite difficult. How many will? So, might as well you put in the CPF if yes. you know that you are you plan to buy a house in the next three, yeah. four, five years. And CPF not fifteen years, ah. Uh, I mean, I must say that fifteen years is too long to own a HDB flat. I mean, I your know first house. Yeah, first uh, house. Uh, no offense to the to the guy, but I think there's a lot of things that you need to, you can learn from him. But at the same time, there's a lot of things that you can do to shorten that period of wait if you're disciplined, you have the perseverance and you have uh, yeah. the right spouse. I believe. Yeah. Eh? Also, I can understand because for this guy, when he need the house, right, he already have four daughters, yeah. so he need uh, three bedrooms, lah, no choice. But for three some, ah, uh, three. Uh. Tri- four room with three bedrooms, three yeah. Bedrooms, yeah. So four room is the minimum he can he wants to achieve, lah. Yeah. La. But of course, for those people who have no kids or maybe one kid, and then you want to shorten your journey to get your first BTO, get whatever that you can afford yes. at that moment. 
Don't leave it to chance or to enjoy first. No, I think important yeah. if you definitely need a roof over your head, yeah. right? A three room, I think, is a good starting point. Yeah, I mean, commit to whatever that is affordable lah. To yeah. me, I would put this this way. Whether is it two room or three room, but of course, if you have already kids and all that, go for a three room because the BT you're gonna be really late lah, yeah. right? But unless if you go for say or balance flat and all that, then uh, it all uh, different people have different starting point. Yeah. Uh, so you just have to reflect on your own what you can afford lah. I think we also need to to discuss about how we. We analyze why certain people get their queue number comes to video. Why some don't after ten, twelve, twenty times. Yeah, basically it's very simple. Yeah. They don't have consistent income, mm-hmm. so the uh, HGB knows that if I give you the queue, you, you will not be able, able to, to commit. commit. Yeah. yeah, because with your HFE, okay, now good thing that they make you do the HFE, right? Yeah. So if you do the HFE, your HFE is so low, your income is not definitely your income is not. Uh, Does not not able to support. Yeah, but but more more importantly, mm. because those uh, starting out, their income is of course uh, on the low side, mm. but they apply like a four five room, which is beyond the affordability. Yeah. So the metrics, in my opinion, in our opinion, uh, would definitely not match lah. Ma- uh, flag that you you are not be with your CPF with your yeah. potential HFE or not, you will not be able to afford a four room or five room. Yeah. But because of the fact that. This is unwritten rule. I'm not saying this is how HDB work, but mm-hmm. this is through analysis, through how we analyze certain yeah. things and why people get the Q number and why people yeah, don't. Also, maybe I want to share something because recently we met some uh, single single uh, buyer lah yeah. who want to consider uh, to buy a resale because they can, they are not um, not not uh, didn't get a Q for the BTO. So you know the HFE right? They will put there you are eligible to buy two to five room flat. Correct. So they thought that. Eh, you put there, I'm eligible, no, so I can apply lah. But I said that is besides the point. You have to look at the price of the property, yes. right? So I mean, uh, yeah, you can. You're eligible to buy, but are you, uh, what you call it? Uh? You have the capacity, lah. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, because you now, I'm 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 very I'm very glad we have the HFE because it is a very good breakdown, mm. very comprehensive. Yeah, you people know confuse between eligible and affordability. Yes. Yeah. Eligible means <laughs> yes. Based on your conditions and all that, and, uh, eligibility criteria, you are eligible means you can buy, not afford. Affordability <laughs> different. Yeah, affordability depends uh, on your loan, depends on your current OA and your grants. Yeah. So okay, for the BTO, right? You don't have the family grant. You only have enhanced housing enhanced grant. Enhanced housing grant. So the maximum housing grant you can get based on salary, right? Because our income level maximum is 80k. So for example, even the guy in the video, he only get 60k because his income is. Be- Uh, around 3,000 bracket. So imagine your EHG is 80k. Definitely your loan is low because of your your income is, is 1,000. Yeah. Uh, what's the lowest? Ah, uh? the lowest. Thousand five. Thousand five. Ah, so you can get high grant, but then your income low means low HLE. Yeah. Or low HFE, HFE. loan. Ah, uh. so please understand the the the, the logic. Yeah, the correlation yeah, here because the, mm-hmm. sometimes we get emotional uh, clients that that talk to us. Oh, I'm very disappointed with the government, whatever mm. you know. I need a house, but I apply today, so many times, so I don't get yeah. this and that. But why? Yeah. You must analyze why. Yeah. Uh, Unless you are, you can afford it. Everything, sweet sweet, you have the money. But why you cannot uh, get the queue? Uh, then we we have to analyze further why you don't get the queue. It could but, be the uh, but, supply but and the demand. More importantly, uh, mm. for those people out there just this is probably hard truth so i'm going to say the hard truth to you the fact is you need to look internally are you do you want do you are you able to so called sacrifice to make uh, a better living yeah or you want to malaysia relax relax i think a lot of people wants to relax relax i've seen for myself right somebody uh, got retrenched then he say he cannot get a job i say why oh all the jobs are not suitable for me the hours too long must do shift uh, no Uh, then uh, the 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 location is far. There's no uh, there's no transport. I said, wow, like that forever you not get a job. Yeah. Yeah. So it yeah. is something I cannot brain. Uh, yeah. Uh. But actually, everybody, I'm sure every human being wants stability, lah. Correct. Because we are here not nomad, lah. We can travel here, travel there, yes. and 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 park our tents and all that. We can't. <laughs> we need stability. That means we need a proper shelter to go home to, have a good rest after hard days work, yes. and to enjoy with our family, right? So if you want stability, you, it needs to know that you need the income to support. Yeah. 
that stability and therefore you find a stable income, stable job lah. With CPF. Uh, with CPF contribution. Those who really die contribute. die wants to work on their own because they, they don't want to they want to be their own boss. Mm. Then you have to be much, much more disciplined with yeah. your cash flow. Then after getting the BTO, after you're getting the house, uh, it's not over, you know. You yeah. have to continue working because you've got to pay the loan, right? Yeah. So you have to look at your your CPF contribution. For example, like this guy in the in the video, right? He actually Uh, talk about detail about how he's going to pay his monthly mortgage because Correct. you know he wait until 42 years old that means he only can get 23 years of loan tenure up to age 65 uh, to 65 to service and that cost him uh, to pay about 700 uh, 600 plus but then he want to shorten the number of years because he find that eh hey, I cannot be working up to 65 lah to pay for this house right because he already take so long to get a house he uh-huh. want to shorten to the fully pay the house lah Because he also want to retire because I think he think that he worked so hard already to okay. get this house. So he also asking the HDB officer, hey, can I shorten this tenure or not? Then the officer said, can. But if you shorten, then your income, uh, your CPF Monthly. contribution are not enough. You have to pay cash. Yeah. So he said, ah, alamak. Then he also jammed there. So you, you must know? understand, yeah, you want to quickly pay off your loan, but mm. are you willing to pay much more because the shorter the tenure the higher the monthly yeah. and if your CPF contribution is not able to sustain that monthly what is the what is the surplus you need to do is to top up with cash and this is something that a lot of people are so scared yeah so scared afraid afraid that because mm. they will have less time for less money less money for vices for for vices. things <laughs> <It's> to spend <laughs> lah to, to put it very uh, cru- uh, to put to, it very to nicely. pay for Netflix subscription is it Or to pay for internet, your yeah. your handphone and yes, all that. Yes, yes. So um, that's why I said, you know, we can talk so much uh, about you know, uh, I want a house, I want a house. But do you know what it takes to own a house, okay. to get the house and yeah. own it, and maintain it, and you know? Yeah. Uh, I mean, I I like this guy because he doesn't feel entitled. Yeah, important. He, knows, he, he don't knows, feel entitled. Yeah. I'm waiting for the government to come and help me or somebody yeah. to help me. No, yeah. he worked his way up. He worked his way through all those hardship. Yeah. That's how sh- things should should be, lah. I think it's more. Uh, a lot of us feel that we are entitled to certain help and all mm. that. No. And I like the the way he said that his the support the support frame uh, for him, uh, the support people is his in laws and his wife. Yeah. Uh, uh, what call it? Advises advice to him. Yeah. Uh, I mean, he's a rebel. He said, "I don't need CPF initially." Yeah. But after that, he understood the moment. Uh, he have kids and all that. He knew and, that he had to I, provide I, for them. I just saw snippets of the video. Then mm. he said that his father-in-law gave a very good advice. Mm. Whatever in the house, ah, uh, you should not be Loaning. buying because and take a loan out of it. For yeah. example, TV. You want to buy Furniture. TV, then you have a twelve months whatever installment plan. Yep. You say no point. Have money, then buy. Yeah, because ah, if you important. start to loan for every single thing in the house, right? Then whatever income you receive. You will never feel it. You never enjoy it because you it's all track. towards the debt. Yeah. yeah. And how debt, to own yeah. a house like that? Mm. Yeah. Apart from the housing loan, yeah. uh, which I think uh, he he give some good advices there. Yeah, I, I, I think I the totally video salute really him. Good. I think yeah. it's something that uh, we really uh, advocate. It's just that from our point of view, it shouldn't take 15 years. Yeah. Yeah. There are Wait. ways and means that you are ab- you can do. To shorten that weight so that you are able to own your first BTO. Yeah, of course you got really hustle lah. Really got to work yeah. extra hours or maybe both spouse have to work uh, immediately, got despite it. having young kids lah. Yeah, but the know. it comes to age. If you're young enough, I think it's okay to hustle a bit more. Yeah, because yeah. like you know, imagine he mentions that he got a house at 42. He to fully pay a house, he need. 23 years so yeah. he really fulfilled that 65 years then can fully pay kind yeah. of thing so of course nobody wants ah. but at that at this matured age he understood that he has to he, work harder yeah. again to he, make he this he also uh, mentioned a very good mm-hmm. point you know we can work so hard and then to fulfill our dream but we never take care of our health and all that ah. uh, then if anything happened to us totally whatever we are working for is gone Mm-hmm. So very important to to balance, uh, so that you know we are able to enjoy like our family, enjoy the safety of the home and all that, mm-hmm. instead of becoming a uh, what do you call that a burden. Yeah. Ah. So our advice to all those young uh, couples out there who are planning to get married, you know, and been saving for the marriage, right? Please think of the next step yeah. ahead before you actually spend on that. That wedding lah. <laughs> uh, Or make sure you you have a good job. Yeah. I think this is important. I Correct. think don't don't be 
don't be what do you call that choosy uh, mm. of course maybe I mean all of us don't like to le- to the, to study yeah. at one point of time but then again when we are grown up we need to understand from responsibility perspective especially by getting married or we are married mm-hmm. so that we don't have to wait too long to own our own home and we don't have to go through the cycle of hdb rental flat yeah. which i think is not conducive just my opinion conducive for your family to grow at the same time also you bang in your in-laws and all that i think it might not be the ideal, situ- ideal situation to start a family as well so yeah. i think important Uh, check your affordability and you, if you can't afford today what must you do to make sure that you can afford with the next 3 to 5 years not 15 years you get what I mean yeah uh, so like we mentioned right do some uh, what you call it uh, uh, check your finances which after you do your HFE right you know that oh there's a shortfall if I'm going to buy a 600,000 uh, BTO price wow right what OA I have and what EHG I should get And then therefore, you see if your CPF is very much little, what yeah, yeah, is the okay. shortfall is that you got to accumulate those yeah. CPF, you know? It brings me to this point. I just remember something. Because mm. some of the calls we receive, right? Okay, for example, 600,000. I want to mm. buy 600,000 of BTO flat. Now, I load HFE and CPF grant. I got uh, 400,000. Example. Mm. So can I loan the 200,000 pay installment? <laughs> uh, Think about it, uh. Sometimes yeah. people, uh, the the way they yeah. think, uh, is is not logical, yeah. uh, I must For say. house, uh, there's only one loan and one loan only. It's, it's, it's your housing it's loan. It's If you cannot, uh, you have shortfall, right? It has to be fully cash lump That's sum. Right. This you guy, you cannot have yeah, a double loan on it. Yeah, he mentioned on that. You guys, you know, you must make sure if you shortfall anything is cash. Uh, lump sum, lump, lump sum, sum cash. Lump sum cash, hard uh-huh. cash, hard. Yeah. Uh, so. Yeah, because so there's a lot of people out there are quite clueless about the yeah. the this uh, finance lah. So they keep saying that shortfall lah. I uh, can I loan? I mean, you sorry. Got housing yeah, you're housing loan. How to loan? loan, how to loan yeah. Oh. The other kind of loan you can think of is not very good. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you cannot. We're, we're loan. not going to say it in in, yeah. in, in in camera. Yeah, you shouldn't loan anymore. Yeah. It's have to be only housing loan and housing loan only. The rest has to be cash CPF. Yeah. Okay. So guys, what is our objective? Our objective is to not sugarcoat things, to tell you the hard truth, which is something sometimes not easy to swallow. Yeah, but, but it'll be a clear, it's clear a, uh, direction for you. Correct. It's so that you can plan. Pill, uh, mm. uh, but this pill definitely will make you better. This is important in life, especially in comes to property. Uh, because today, 260,000 for BTO, It's not going to happen anymore. Four room, four room. Four room flat. Yeah, this wow. is probably three room this price. This is uh. what you call a steal. Yeah. Yeah. But then again, guys, need to prepare yourself, need to understand your finances and need to prioritize which is more important. It's not about lifestyle. It's about life. I think this is how we want to advocate so that you are empowered with our sharing and you make the right decision when it comes to housing. So my name is Niza Madli. I'm Niza Ali. See you in our next podcast. Bye. Bye.